Hi, it's Matt, and if you didn't know already, I'm here to help people get what they want. Quick question, uh, there is a link somewhere near this video, a PayPal link near this video. Could you please send me two million pounds to that link? And if you can't find the link, the link is paypal.me forward slash coach Matt Smith with two T's. Please make sure you spell it right. That's two million to paypal.me forward slash coach Matt Smith. That money is basically for my dream house and it covers the redecorations um, that I need to do with the house um and the interior design and stuff and then a couple of years worth of living expenses from that house now i'll also be running a business from that house and i'll be willing to offer a return of the pro a percentage of the profits return a percentage a percentage of the return of the profits to the person who buys that house and sends uh, sends me that money Thank you very much. What showed up for you when I was asking for that? Or saying what I've just said, what showed up for you? Like, honestly, what were your, what were your feelings? What were your judgments? I already know some people have already clicked off this video. We're not even two minutes in and what I just said triggered some people that much? They've stopped watching. How are you when someone just asks for what they want? Because here's the thing. Yeah, I help people get what they want. But most people aren't even asking for what they want. Oh, it'd be nice if I had this. Oh, I'd love to have that. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, life would be so much better if I just had that. When's the last time you actually asked for what you wanted? By the way, if you've um, got a Ferrari four five eight, you would like that you would like to give me. I'd also like one of those. How does you, how do you feel when you hear someone asking for what they want? Because here's the thing: if you can't ask for what you want. you're probably not going to get it. No matter what strategies and tactics you learn and things like that, sometimes it comes down to literally just asking for what you want. Now, as always, I try and be as valuable as possible on my videos. So here is something you can do if you struggle with asking for what you want. First step, is getting clear on what you want just just pick one random thing that you that you want okay just one random thing one thing could be a, a partner soulmate could be uh, an amount of money could be a a job um item of clothing any materialistic stuff uh, it could be the body that you want could be an opportunity could be a con conversation with your favorite coach That's the first step, getting clear on what it is that you actually want. Again, most people don't even know what they want. Second step. Is looking at your judgments around either that thing that you want, what judgments you have on it, the meaning you put around either the thing or asking for the thing and your beliefs around your worthiness and deservingness of it deservingness is that even a word deservability example 
let's take what I just said at the start of this video. Two million pounds, please. One of my pre-programs, not a program anymore, one of my pre-programs, because that's all it is, it's just programs, that's all we're doing, we're running programs since the day we were born, we're, we're imprinting these new programs in our brain of how we go through life and how we should go through life and how we shouldn't go through life. One of my pre-programs was you have to work for, earn, and and earn your deservingness. Please, like, if you know what I'm trying to say, can you let me know? Send me a message. <laughs> I had to earn what I wanted. I had to work for it. I didn't deserve it until I'd worked for it. But then I realized that belief, because it's only a belief, and look at how you feel now while I'm saying this. Some of you, this might not bother you at all. Uh, there's some people out there that are watching this that are going to be like, yeah, you do need to you need to earn it and, and work for it. You can't just have it given to you on a silver plate. You can't just have it handed to you. That's a story. That's a belief you picked up. If it's your belief, like... If that bothered you, if you if that resonated with you, you picked it up from somewhere. I picked it up from my parents. Things don't just get handed to you. You gotta work for it. Oh yeah, really? Well what about all those lottery winners that the only work they did was buy a lottery ticket while they were probably buying something else? And again, be aware of your perceptions stories beliefs that are popping up when you think of things like that because the mind loves to do that the ego loves to do everything it can to stop you from changing your situation yeah see that was one of my beliefs that you have to work for it change that belief I don't have to work for it I get to have it just because it's my birthright to have whatever I want my desires were given to me were placed inside me for a reason and I get to have them just because now you could say well Matt if you get to have it just because why haven't you got it already and again there are still beliefs that I get to work through I don't know, somebody might have messaged me in the time of making this video with the two million. Somebody might have sent that to me. I have no idea. I detach from the outcome of it because I'm good whether I get that or not. I'm good whether I get it or not. Whether I get the dream house, I'm good whether I get it or not. I detach from that outcome. So how are you with what you want? Are you placing so much attachment on it that it needs to happen and you can't be good without it and you need it so much and just look at that energy that needy energy that's repellent energy i spoke about that before see me being good whether i get it or not is attractive energy so there's more chance of it coming to me because i don't need it Now, does that mean I just sit at home and don't do anything? Just sit on my ass and don't do anything? Nope. I take inspired action. So I have my dreams and desires. I connect with those. Ah, oh, the house. The money. I have many other dreams and desires, by the way. Not just materialistic ones. I have the other ones in relation to my business and the level of service and and, and my uh, spirit and soul and heart and loads of other dreams and desires. But I'm just talking on those terms for the moment. Money in the house. The money in the house. And then I connect with those. And then I get asked for the inspired next steps. Then I do the work. One of the inspired next steps make a video helping people get what they want and also ask for it at the start that was my inspired next step and i just keep taking the inspired next steps detaching from the outcome and that's how i always get whatever i want my life is just a 
a byproduct of the work I do. That's why I teach this stuff. That's why I preach this stuff. That's why I talk on this stuff. That's why it's all I do with my clients is inner work, inner work, inner work, inner transformations, inner stuff, all the inner stuff, shifting out all the stuff that's in the way because it works. I've done it with my life. I did it with how to get my, like, I used it for my kids. I went boy first, girl second. And there'll be people that say, oh, Matt, that was luck. It could have happened anyway. Doesn't serve me to believe that it was only luck. I have my desires, my intentions to have a boy first and a girl second. It's exactly what I've got. Boy first, girl second. Same as with all the cars that I've owned. Same as with any relationship I've ever been in. Same as my looks that you see on the camera. I literally imagined myself looking like this. The time, the freedom that I have, that everything. My life's just a, a byproduct of what I teach. That's why I teach it. My clients' lives are byproducts of the work we do and what we teach. I've taken people from unemployed, 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 and through four months, if that. In fact, since they decided on what they wanted, it was about three weeks. To them landing their dream job that paid them over a hundred thousand pounds a year plus bonuses and everything else that comes with it car phone all this stuff working when they want where they want they got their design within three weeks from unemployed to that within three weeks save people's lives got people in relationships with their soulmate got the body that they dream and desire um help few people actually not want to kill themselves and go on to live great lives inspiring lives just by doing the inner work just removing the stuff out of the way getting them to decide um not even decide what they want but because most people know what they actually want but a lot of people are afraid to admit it in case they don't get it or they'll have low expectations so this is what one of my coach says nick says is is a lot of people set the low expectations because they don't want to be disappointed but then they get what they expected at a low level and then they're disappointed anyway because they're like oh shit i should have asked for more i should have gone for more i should have desired more right so how are you with asking for what you want You've got the exercise somewhere in this video for what to do when it comes to getting what you want. You've got the, a couple of steps with there for you. Go and take it away. Practice it. Detach from the outcome is the biggest thing. Like find yourself, find a space, a place where you can just be good, whether you get the thing or not, and then practice asking for what you want. And if you want to start small and then get bigger, then absolutely fine. Or you could just, again, the universe, for me, what I believe is there's no... There's no severity of, of miracles in when it comes to the universe. The universe wants you to have it all. And it, I think it's the Course in Miracles that says something like there's no, there's no levels of difficulty. It's all ease. It's all the same. To the, to the universe, it's all the same. So asking and manifesting for, for one pound is as easy for the universe to give you as it is for it to give you a million pounds or 10 million or 100 million. That's what I believe. It's as easy for the universe to give you whatever. The, 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 the Ford Fiesta, which is my first car, or the Ferrari 458, which will be one of my next cars. Because I know it's as easy for the universe to give me either of them. I just have to align myself with the one that I actually want and remove everything that's in the way of me getting it. And that's it. Same for you too, when it comes to getting what you want. I hope that's helped. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Again, if you want to support the channel or send me two million pounds, you can do uh, the link somewhere in this video. If you can't find it, it's paypal.me forward slash coach Matt Smith. That, how, that is how easy it is to ask for what you want. Um, come and join me on the socials and I'll uh, speak to you soon.